Hello and welcome to ALW Collectibles. Today we're taking a jump into the world of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin, once again with Michelangelo. This is really cool. I love these figures. I think they look phenomenal. And I really like doing the unboxings for them because it's like a Christmas day for me. Always looking awesome. I love how these are updated. Let's take a look at some of the artwork on this package. And wow. There's Mikey getting ready for battle. You see the new look on him. And I love how they updated all the looks on all the turtles. Looks really sharp. There's the front count. Up. Oh, whoop. It's front cover of the packaging. And at the same time, you can see the side of the box with Mikey standing there getting ready for battle. This one looks like he's already broken through a wall. The back pa back of the packaging. Product shots of Mikey choking out one of the foot soldiers, him with Leo. And then, of course, the story of the last Ronin. Looks really, really nice. And it actually says Leonardo and Footbot figures sold separately. Right down here in this corner. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin. Who is The Last Ronin? In a future, Battle Ravaged New York City, a lone surviving turtle embarks on a seamlessly hopeless mission, seeking justice for the family he lost. From legendary TMNT co-creators Kevin Eastman and Peter Leonard, get ready for the final story of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Three decades in the making. What terrible events destroyed his family and left New York City a crumbling post-apocalyptic nightmare. All will be revealed in this climactic turtle tale. See his longtime friends become becoming enemies and new allies emerging in the most unexpected places. Can the surviving turtle triumph? And of course this is the NECA logo. And the standard Last Ronin look with Michelangelo number 11. And the bottom of the box is just the product information. And the top of the box. Really cool. And as always, they got the product shot on the inside of the box, which I think looks really nice. This photo right here of Michelangelo. You get some foot bots on the ground at his feet and then of course there's Michelangelo himself in there you got the nunchucks the two heads the multiple sets of hands he is not pre-opened I did not pre-cut the tape or anything so I'm gonna do that right now and as I say you know kids if you're watching this videos ask parents help for opening things so let's open this up and let's take a look That is really sharp. Heavy boy, too. Not as heavy as the last last night figure I did, but still very heavy. You got the interchangeable hands, the two sets of nunchucks, the alternate head, and the body himself. So let's take everything out. First thing, let's take the nunchucks out. Take the alternate head sculpt out. And the other set of hands. And I got special scissors that are blunted on the top that won't damage the toy. But like I say, always, you know, kids, if you're Taking these out, ask mom and dad or an adult for help because this can get a little tricky. And as far as the collectors go, I don't need to give you advice. You guys know what you're doing. 
All right, so let's get him out. Oh, wow, he does not want to come out of the box. Oh, wow. Try to flip. All right, wow. He was really in there nice and secure. And I just put my display stands away. Let's get one of them back out. All righty. There is Michelangelo. As a collector, I always try keeping a clean work environment. There we go. Wow. That looks pretty sharp. I like that. Sort out the hands here. All right, cool. So we got the alternate heads, three sets of hands, and two sets of nunchucks. That looks pretty sharp. Let's take a look at this alternate head first. That looks pretty cool. Looks like he's got one of those err faces on. Don't talk to me. I'm not in a good mood. Of course, this orange and this bandana looks look like it's tattered up. Got some nice detail work in the bandana. That really doesn't move on the back. Spot detail all over the head. You got white for the eyes, white for the teeth. That looks really, really nice. I like that. take a look at the hand sculpts oh these are nice you got some nice texturing wraps for the hands you got a block on the back here detailed fingers you see the fingernail right there even on the inside of the hand whoa so I'll drop that really really nice you got left and right of those open hand Anything I like that consistent with the design looks really sharp, and the paint sculpt is not not paint sculpt. Wow, paint application is not identical. They did shake it up a little bit. Even the wraps are differently done on the inside of the palms. Looks really sharp, and the last set. really nice see the knuckles are really protruding on these very nice again the sculpting on this set in general is amazing to me I really like the way they look and I like this new sets of nunchucks normally as nunchucks are cast in black these are cast in brown they look like they're wrapped up heavily with a little metal chain on them That looks sharp. I like that. There's some nice ridging, nice detail work and texturing on these. Really, really nice. And they're the same size, so there's no changing them. I like that. And let's take a look at Mikey himself now. Let's get that brooding face sculpt. Looks like, mm, looks like he's in heavy contemplation. Bandana all tattered up on the sides. Looks aged. Looks like he's wearing a brown hoodie underneath his armor. I like this. He's got like an orangey color. Orange brown. You got a red bar here. Brown, brown, brown. Multiple pockets. He's got like brown pants on. Orange knee pads. The foot wraps are nice. The texturing on this is amazing. And the paintwork, spot on. Got some nice details on the toes. Same thing, it continues on the bottom. I love the texturing detail on the bottom of the feet. Looks really, really nice. Multiple pouches on the back. Ah, just no notice that. One arm's covered, one arm's not. This has got some armoring and then the cloth. And this one's completely bare, up to his wrap. That looks nice. 
Head does turn. Full exorcist. Oh, wow. A little tight, but yeah, it'll work. Shoulder goes all the way around. Tiny bit in and out. Not as great as I'd like. Nothing at the bicep. Elbow, double elbow bend. And nothing at the wrist. Waist is kind of locked. Oh, there we go. Took it a minute to pop. Waist moves. Chubby front leg. <laughs> Back leg is almost non-existent. And he does have a double knee bend, but it doesn't want to... Look. There we go. Doesn't bend as well as I'd like. But, oh well. Um, ankle. Yeah, pretty cool. And I guess you're supposed to store these now here on his chest. There. Just like that. That's where his nunchucks get stored now. It's on his chest. I'm going to leave one set out so we can try his hands. Cool. Oh, wow. Oh, the wrists do move. They're just tight. Very, very tight. Let's go to open hand. And the other semi-open hand. And I like how these are painted down the peg so it fits right in nicely. Come on, bring it on. That looks pretty sharp. I like that. Right. One more hand change and we'll do the head change. Give him this hand. Let's see if he can hold his nunchucks. Aha. Can. I just don't think you can hold him across his body. Well, I mean, the detail work, I was looking at that while I was changing the hand a little bit. It's very nice. Different muscle groups. You can see how it's painted up to highlight it. Fantastic job with these sets. Change the head over. Oh, wow. Very tight ball joint. That's unusual. You got a brown ball joint. On the green body. There's the hood of the hoodie. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It started the whole top half just slid up when I did that. Okay. There we go. Satisfying little pop. Put that on. Yeah. Overall, it's not bad. I like that. Looks really cool. Setting him up in a fighting pose, I can see where that hand would come in very handy. Yeah. Let's change this out for this one again. Yeah. Not too bad. I kind of like it. Not too bad, not too bad at all. I like it, I like it. It looks really cool. These last Ronin figures really do impress me. I like the way they look. I think they look really sharp. Having said that, I'm hoping to finally get the other two that I want soon, and I can do them. This has been ALW. If you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe if you wish. Comments are always welcome. I want to say thank you to all my channel members. I appreciate it. I'm going to get ready to do another video very soon, and Michelangelo is going to go join his brothers on the shelf. You have a good day.